Welcome to a cup of coffee and Alf Sultrate. Alf Sultrate uh, is, was a local poet, legend and a passionate man from my hometown Haugesund here in Norway. Uh, he self-published his own zines but he also uh, got his poems and more published by uh, publishers and he's translated some important other poets and writers and he has a lot of books published so if you search for Alf Saltvet you will find a lot of his works uh, both online and in book format uh, the first thing I did when I heard of his passing was paint this oil painting of him uh, he passed away on 18th of May 2022 and the first thing I wanted to do was do this portrait painting of him. I'm going to donate this painting to Haugesund Folkebibliothek. Uh, it's our local library, which was a place where you would often see him coming in and out the doors, so sitting there drinking his coffee, reading some papers. All his publications uh, would be available there. And you, you would always see him with this uh, uh, Kiwi or Ramatusen grocery bag, which is like a uh, like, like a normal plastic bag. I tried to give him one of my Café Fancine uh, tote bags once but he refused to to advertise for anyone or anything but you would always see him with one of those grocery plastic bags and around them uh, he would carry these self-published fanzines that he made and all of them more or less I have of course gotten signed by him and some of them is like with a personal uh, writing in it and in this it says in Norwegian till Martin uh, Luis Engel beste helsting fra Han Alf which is uh, to Martin light angel best uh, regards from uh, Alf and he would make these zines uh, with cut and paste and he wrote them all with a typewriter just like I do with my zines Try not to promote my scenes here in any way, but I'm just saying that we had both common passion of how you make self-publicated zines. And this is uh, everything from small stuff that he wrote for the newspapers, or people wrote about him. He was never afraid to voice his opinion about politicians, local people, or people at all. He would get a lot of shit sometimes for what he wrote and said. So he was never afraid of... Uh, uh, airing his opinion, which is why us local artists and punk rockers really had uh, uh, this, uh, huma, this love for Alf Saltveit and what he did. And he even had his own um, like award thing. He got he gave money once a year uh, at if I'm not uh, fucking things up here now. I think it was at Safe as Milk Festival. And he gave away these awards to people. And the coolest thing is, I won one of those awards because he wanted to give money and support people uh, that did something artistic or cool or creative here in Haugesund. So I got one of those awards and it got photographed in the newspapers. And it was a surprise that I got it, so I was super happy. So thank you all for that um, uh, award. And also, uh, making this oil painting of him uh, I wanted to give this to the local library Hugs and Folk Bibliothek and the reason why I wanted to give it is because he was hanging out there and the library was an important place to him as it is for me and many others especially now when it's so uh, refurbished and fresh and new with great coffee place there and uh, just a great place to hang out in the park outside everything and they're not allowed to sell this painting it's a gift to Hugs uh, library uh, but if it comes to time when they want to uh, sell it, or if they want to sell it somehow, then it has to be auctioned and 100% of the money will go to his own uh, foundation. I, uh, I think he has his own Alf Saltveit Foundation, which is the one that he gave the prices away to. So hopefully this will hang there for a good while and then maybe at some sort of anniversary for Alf Saltveit we will uh, have an auction at Haugesund Library where somebody can bid on this painting and the money will go to the Al Saltveit Foundation. 
I have not spoken with Haugesund Library yet about all of this that I'm saying now, so maybe they won't want it on their walls, who knows, but I, I'm pretty sure they're going to have it, because look at it, it's fucking beautiful. And it's recognizable with his sixpence hat and his hair, which was kind of his signature look. Anyway, uh, go check it, this painting out on my Instagram or go to Hogson uh, Library to see it live. Uh, just wanted to show you quickly the, the different uh, the different paintings, no, the different scenes that he has and stuff. And I'm gonna post these uh, next week sometime on my Café Fancina page. So go check them out there. I have a lot of these for some reason, because sometimes we forgot which one we traded. Some funny stories about Al Salfate. He, uh, we had a deal that every time he published a new zine, he would put one at Shabby Records, and then uh, I would come into Shabby Records, and be there at Shabby would say, I'll just put the zine here for you, and then I would uh, give him one of mine, and we would trade. So we would always trade zines, and if I met him in the streets, he would always give me his newest publication and sign it personally, which he has done in all of the publications. So this was Korrelationer. Um, and then I have this, Epigam. This one. And I got a, a book from him as well, Knot. Didn't he sign it? What? Maybe some page or something, but I got this. Maybe he was in a hurry when he gave me this. And then you have Kola Shuna again, but here he actually has written something in this other one I have to Martin Rollingson <laughs> with best wish from uh, Alf Rollingen. I don't know what he's written there. I'll post it so you can see it. Fragmentering um, and Apocalypse with a drawing by another local artist. Does it say who it is? Is it on? Uh, to Martin with magic from Alf. It was always creative when he wrote the different uh, stuff. And uh, uh, another book of sulfate. And then alphabetisering of sulfate with the. Uh, always love the photos on it. And he would always have the local newspaper inside of it. Serendar. Uh, Another publication, and then you have Panty Smart. I think this was his uh, last scene that he gave me that we traded, and then this one, which is really cool, uh, Apocryphar of Sulfate with another drawing by a local artist. Is it drawn by? Damn it, it doesn't say. And here, other drawings inside as well. A little bit bummed that I never got to give him one of my drawings. Vida Emerson from Death Crush, Judith's cover. So, uh, short thing about Alf, uh, which is kind of funny. I'm going to hold the painting just so you can see it while I'm talking. Uh, I asked him once if I could do a podcast interview with him. And as you all know, a podcast is between 45 minutes to 60 minutes long. We came to the library and uh, I started recording. We started the interview. And then after f less than five minutes, he said, well, uh, do you have everything you need? I'm like, what do you mean? Uh, we're still going to do it for a while though. Uh, how long uh, did you plan on doing this interview? And I said, well, uh, between 45 minutes and an hour. He said, oh, no, 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 I don't have time for that. I'm doing this radio thing right now, so I have to leave. So, goodbye. And he just uh, stood up and left. And I just sat there with my recording like, uh, okay. And I think I kept talking for the episode, but I published it. So it's out there somewhere. I'm going to republish all the podcast episodes in the near future, though, hopefully. I just have to fix all the technical stuff. Anyway, Alf did whatever the fuck he wanted, wrote whatever the fuck he wanted, and that's why we punk rockers and art, local artists uh, loved him, because he, he did whatever he wanted. And uh, also another funny thing with him was, uh, uh, we did the trading, of course, the bags, I told you about that, the tote bags, and yeah, he was just, everybody knew him in this town, and he would always wave, would always say hello to everyone, and... You will be missed, uh, Alf, you were a part of the city, Haugesund, and uh, I'm going to miss your rantings in your zines, and of course trading the zines. So, this is for you, Alf, uh, this episode, and uh, to Haugesund Library, this is going to be yours, I'm going to 
come by next week. If you're watching this on the release date on uh, Friday, then it's gonna be uh, next week. Uh, this is Friday the 20th, 20th when you're watching this. If it's if you're watching it on the release date, making it too complicated, I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna post it on my Instagram when this is uh, at Hugsund Folkebibliothek. Maybe I'll go with a little bit now. Nope, next week, don't have time because I have to prepare for uh, I'm doing a mural, a wall painting at Ölen Kulturus uh, this weekend at uh, Ölen Kulturus in Ölen and also doing a skate and uh, comic book workshop uh, at uh, Vårdag, Aktivitetsdag for Barn Unge in uh, Ölen for Vindafjord Frivillig Central. So go check that out on uh, my Instagram. Did not mean to add advertisement inside of this on March 12th here, but it, that's why I'm not delivering this today that's what i meant anyway thanks for watching new episode every friday and live stream uh, on instagram just watch my story for the time and the place and thanks for watching if you love paintings done by me contact me if you want to commission one i'm always open for commissions okay goodbye 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 and goodbye Alf. and thank you for the art that you left for us to read goodbye <laughs>